Well, you know, former President Donald Trump, meantime, he's back on the campaign trail this afternoon. It comes a day after prosecutors asked the judge to limit what Trump can say and post about the trial pertaining to his attempts to overturn the 2020 election. And our Yuki Washington joining us now with the very latest. You. Natasha Siafa, hello everyone. A short time ago, the former president spoke to supporters in New Hampshire. The 2024 presidential candidate discussed what he plans to do if he returns to the White House and the growing indictments he is facing. Right now, he has a big lead over his rivals for the Republican nomination. Among them is former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. He says the various investigations and indictments against the 45th president shows, quote, he cannot be the party's candidate. I'm sorry, I won't be able to go to Iowa today. I won't be able to go to New Hampshire today because I'm sitting in a courtroom on bull****. We know from the reports that just came out that he spent $40 million just the last quarter on legal fees, and that was before two more indictments came out. Um, look, he can't sustain it, and, and he's ripping people off. And another campaign note, the former president's closest competitor in the polls, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, has fired his campaign manager and replaced him with his longtime chief of staff. It's the latest shakeup in his presidential campaign as he has not shown any momentum or gained any ground.